It's the biggest space vehicle Europe has ever built. Jules Verne weighs 20 tonnes and stands more than 30 feet high. In a way, it's not much more than a high-tech space truck to carry supplies to the International Space Station. But it's actually much more important than that, because it gives Europe the ability to move goods and astronauts into space independently of NASA. The Jules Verne vehicle is something which uh, the Europeans have spent a lot of money and a lot of time working on. And if it works, it'll be certainly a big step forward for the countries that are involved with that. That doesn't actually include the UK, um, but nonetheless, it certainly is a big technological breakthrough to have something like this going up, built by the countries in Europe rather than the Americans and doing this kind of work. When it blasts off from French Guiana early on Sunday, it'll be unmanned with a cargo of almost eight tonnes of supplies, fuel, food, air and water. The European Space Agency say it's the first aircraft to dock in space without human intervention. It uses a Russian-built docking system with laser eyes to close in on the space station. And although unmanned, it is man-rated, so astronauts will be able to collect supplies, including drinking water from Milan, during its six-month stay. After that, it'll undock carrying the space station's rubbish and burn up on re-entry a dustbin costing tens of millions of pounds. For people who stay seven months in orbit, any visit by crew or by resupply ship is like uh, entertainment psychologically to, to divert from the regular routine work every day. Europe will build seven of these vehicles for a billion pounds. After the last shuttle flight in 2010, they'll be the only game in town. Helen Callahan, ITV News.